Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the first episode of Hidamari Sketch. So, this show is a slice of life comedy by the amazing Shaft Studio, who have done countless shows that I really enjoyed. You know, Madoka Magica, the Monogatari series, Nisekoi, just to name a few that are just on, on top of my head, but there's definitely plenty others, rest, rest assured. But I never actually watched this show. I've watched plenty of other, like, comedy slice of life shows that... You know, at least at first glance, seems similar to this, but never actually watched this one, so I'm kind of been eager to do it for a while, so now I'm finally sitting down and doing so. So, if you want to watch me watch it, then feel free to stick along, stick around. If you want to get early access to future reaction videos, you can join me on Patreon, which is in the link down below. So, by the time you're watching this, I should be a few episodes ahead in the show, beyond this, so... There is that. Before I jump into it though, I do kind of have to show you my, or tell you my reaction format. I don't know show the anime footage itself in this video because of beauty of copyright issues that can, that can result from. I do show you subtitles though from the show, as well as a timer so you can get your own copy of the show and get it all synced up and we can watch it together. So, if that hasn't scared you away, then let us begin in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Looks like we're starting in the morning, 7.45 to be exact, so probably right before school. We're going to see our main character and how they begin their day. That was also a really old school uh, alarm clock there. Nowadays you just use your phone, your smartphone, play one of your favorite songs as your alarm. <laughs> yeah, I definitely know that feeling, that's for sure. The blanket is a fun, happy place. It takes a lot of motivation to leave it voluntarily. Is our main character a good an Aquarius? Even princesses or Pisces, but I've misread that. Interesting stuff she has in her room. Yeah, very slow, just chill kind of morning. Nobody's in a rush here. Bad. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Okay, looks like we're all ready. <laughs> Mia chan. So she does have at least one friend, that's good. The poodle. Like a yeah, classic flip phone. <laughs> oh yeah. You can say that about a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, but you probably will never meet them. That's a sad reality. Okay, so Yuno and Mia are these two girls. And it looks like we're gonna get her opening. I'll take this one. <laughs> Live with a good life over there. Also, do not eat her hand, please. <laughs> this is already kind of a fun opening. Oh, okay. What, what are we walking on there? Can we go back? It's called Hidamari Sketch, so I didn't think about it, but there should be a certain amount, a certain amount of drawing, right? Sketching. Miyako's our full name. Gotcha. Hero. We haven't met her yet. And Sai. I guess that's our main four gang. Our ensemble cast. We haven't got a name of the song yet, have we? I do love the old school anime feel of it, because obviously it is an older anime, so that's to be expected, but I just appreciate it, because obviously all the anime that come out now are modern by definition. Hidamari Sketch. Winter's Collage. 
so I've heard. <laughs> Definitely not now, not in January. Hidamari so. Oh, so as in like the apartment. Okay, I get it now. Not Himari sketch. I jumped the wrong conclusions before. Is that our landlord? Or no, that's our other friend. Okay. And the other other friend, Saya. Saya and Hiro. Back when they actually said the full greeting and not the slangy version they say now. Yoshi no yeah, sensei. I think is she the one she's on the opening? They look kinda of like a teacher. <laughs> As it should be. Bum bum. I guess it's school time now. Should probably yeah, hurry up a bit. The only downside to all those shows is that it's the resolution is lower. Which is really apparent on my 1440p monitor. The art department, of course. Get a very sketch. Is that our teacher? It was a Kasuga was on duty. <laughs> Seems pretty fun. And yeah, you can see her in the kimono there. <laughs> As you do. Please agree with me, everyone. I mean, it happens sometimes. Don't mind. I wouldn't rely on that too much. <laughs> we in the case, like a lawyer. Is that tic tac toe? Bum, bum, bum. 9.30, it's almost getting to where I would wake up. Clearly not when she would wake up. I don't think she'll be too harsh on you over it. This is my cat. Too bad. Damn, that's a little bit savage. <laughs> Losing the case. Well, you did your best. I definitely get some Lucky Star vibes from this show. One little I've seen so far. Is that important, what's sticking out there? Should we grab that? <laughs> Better hurry up. <laughs> I mean, it's coming together, but... Oh, that's cute. Like a boar. Boar Kigurumi. Akeo me. So I do have the ingredient even now. Damn. <laughs> she does really cute, man. Just. I approve. Almost one. Getting pretty close. <laughs> Better move those legs. Don't distract me. I'm. Don't fall. Don't fall out the. Out the window, please. I'm so worried about that. <laughs> hey, there is snow. Also, don't stop, though. 
<laughs> You're being distracted by the snow. And we're late. <laughs> and she just got here. I have the thing. Please take it. I worked hard to get this and make it. I even have you in it. As she walks out. Well, I guess it all worked out then. Oh wow, that's a wide face. I bet you definitely burned a lot of calories today. Onigiri? Yep. Thank you, best friend. Okay. Well, that's quite nice of her. <laughs> she looks so tiny as she's just squatting like that. Also, really close to being able to see some Pansu. <laughs> Their faces just look so huge when it's zoomed in like that. It's all for us. Better make good use of it. <laughs> I got this, guys. Don't worry about it. I feel like I recognize Mia's voice actress. I'll have to look that up later. I'll probably look up all the voices later. My anime list is down right now, though, so... And what, what do we got? Well, let me see it. Love and peace, really. That's what she came up with. I'll take your word for it. I just met you people, so. Oh yeah, it's a wrong piece. That's like a piece of pie. I mean, if she's Japanese or right in English, I'll, I'll forgive the mistake, but that is definitely the wrong piece. It's like writing a word with the wrong kanji sort of thing. It's a happy snowman. Yeah, once you're an adult, snow is just kind of an inconvenience for the most part. Like, I was literally delayed in starting my new job because of the snow. Which screwed me over a lot. Because I delayed getting my first paycheck. It's not the snow's fault. I mean, snow didn't mean any harm. You're both cool. <laughs> Run away! Eating table. She, she said Kotatsu. Now oh, these are supposed to be weeb subs. Back to the Hidam Hidamari so. It's even, yeah, you know the boys I think I recognize. <laughs> That would be nice, you know. He certainly wouldn't complain about it. I really am enjoying the chill, relaxing atmosphere of the show. <laughs> we would love to. And there's a the Kotatsu. Uh, upside down, I think.
What is it not? Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> She's in her happy place. <laughs> uh, cute. Okay, you're you're tilting the table, I think, a little bit. Cat hair. Lemon piece. <laughs> yeah, cock it up. Not pieces in Hewa. I guess our English is just not the best. That's a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of changing it. You know, Saya almost looks like the one, the, the deaf girl. Or Mugro, whatever, from uh, Katawa Shoujo, almost. That looks kind of sus, I'm not going to lie. Just hanging out with my buddies, don't mind me. So they're garbage on the inside. Gotcha. Just like me. That happens. Right. Modeling fish. We're gonna have a hard time getting her to leave that Kotatsu. But eventually we gotta go home. Oh yeah. These flip phones, though. She could die me much, though. So she saw the homework. Materials are very good. <laughs> well, yeah, of course she'd say that. He! <laughs> wow, she really drew it? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, look at that. That is so good. That that's that's a better pose. That is a great pose. I can I get a, can I get a copy of that picture, please? Oh, there's a better shot of it. Yeah, look at all these. Now it's sideways. It's really good though. And look, you see so much belly. What a great teacher. <laughs> Probably. He, what is she doing? What now? Good news? <laughs> okay. What day? Let me see it. I didn't get to see the phone. <laughs> I think I heard about that dad earlier. <laughs> 
I volunteer to take your extra food. I'm willing to make the sacrifice. Oh. Uh. Looks pretty good. That's a problem. <laughs> okay, please stop shaking me. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> and now it all makes sense. He looks just so happy down there. <laughs> yeah, not because she was trying to be kind. Making a mess. I think you are. Get out of here. Very mart, what? Lights out. Time to go back to our place. Lucky not that much of a walk because they kind of live on the same live on the same building it looks like. The Hidamari saw. A little bit of a mess from the collage, yeah. Miyako's vote, what? Oh it's Miyako's room, okay, that makes a bit more sense. That would be pretty cool. Also, did that book-looking thing see Hidamari on it? I didn't get a chance to take a good look at it. Also, that water's overflowing <laughs> a little bit. Guess it's fine. Because the Japanese bathroom would have like the drain out there, out there that could yeah drain it, so it's it's fine. And have like a nice hot bath after a nice snowy day. Somebody's just kind of standing there. What, what are they doing? Oh, she might. My cat's just kind of hanging out on my lap. Ever since I took him down off the top of my computer. Kikia, whatever they're saying. Dash into the sky in your bare feet. Always run towards the rainbow. And there's we get, we get a nice group shot.
Well, yeah. <laughs> so much words. I will be sure to do that. Okay. And that button. So yeah, that was the first episode of Yidamari Sketch. I mean, it was more or less what I expected, like a chill, slice of life kind of show, right? I didn't really see anything there that would really make me think, yeah, this is definitely a Shaft show. That just could just be because it's such, it is such an old show. I do want to look at when it came out. Yeah, 2007. That was quite a while ago at this point, right? So it would make sense if it's not super reflective of kind of modern day Shaft. That would be entirely reasonable, but... Okay, looks like Kana Asumi voices Yuno, right? So that's cool. I definitely have seen her in other things. Oh yeah, she's a Blanc from Neptunia. That's cool, looks like. I have to use uh, any, any list because my anime, my, my anime list is down, so I'm not familiar with this website as much when it comes to looking at voice actresses and stuff like that. But I definitely have seen her voice actress uh, in other things, that's for sure. Oh, she's even Popoda from working. I can definitely hear that now. I was wondering why she sounds familiar. I think that was mostly what I, I don't know her from. But yeah, she's also in Yaruko. Definitely quite a few roles, to, to be sure. I never knew it was Blanc, though. That was, that's cool. Okay, so what about uh, Miyako? That is Kaori Mizuhashi. Do I know her from anything? Oh, she's Mommy from Madoka. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Oh, Ogi Oshino. Another shaft. <laughs> Just... Okay, anything else of notes? Oh, VBO, that's... Okay, that's cool. Oh, yeah, Michiru. Yeah, I can definitely hear it now. She definitely does sound like Michiru. I think I think that's why she's not familiar. Yeah, she does sound like Michiru. From uh, Grisaya no Kajitsu. Yeah, I can definitely hear it now. Okay, so that, that's all that mystery. I was wondering who she sounded like. And that's... Yeah, that explains that. Okay. That's mostly what I wanted to do. I'll look up the other ones later. That's Those are the two that I really wanted to do now. But as far as this episode, not too much to say about the plot because it is a chill, slice of life kind of show. Just you go to school, you forget your assignment, <laughs> have to go back and do it real quick. You do have our teacher, Yoshi, Yoshino, something like, Yoshi, something like that. Yoshi something. But she seems pretty cool, like she's a cosplayer. <laughs> That's an interesting character trait for her to have. So I'm sure we can get a lot of fun from her going forward. It just seems like that kind of teacher where, you know, the, the main characters get along with really well and can hang out with from time to time. The kind of teacher that teach them might drive them on one of their trips somewhere, right? And hang out. Gotta love Mia just cheering for Yuno outside the window. Good stuff. Also, she got the Onigiri, got some, got some head paths later in the episode. And even got to play in the snow, make some snowmen. You know, you usually get snow in an episode one, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, Mia really likes that Kotatsu. That's what she lived for, so she had a satisfying day, I would say. But yeah, the main cast, we've only got one episode of them, so still need more time to really get a full grasp of their personalities, but from what I've seen so far, they're all seem pretty likable. You know, very much a, a good girl. She definitely comes across as the main, uh, main character of the gang. But Mia, I mean... I, don't, I wouldn't say I have a favorite yet. I don't want to try to get a favorite too early, but I think Mia really shined. Like, really enjoyed me, Mia. Like, she just had a lot of fun moments. Like, even that shot of her just, like, hanging out with the, the snowmen heads, right? Just the way she's leaning on it with that big, dopey smile on her face. I don't know why, but just, I really like that, that picture. I mean, even my favorite shot of the episode. Saya and uh, Hiro seem to get along really well. I would say. Like, if you were going to ship characters, I can t already tell who I, who I would choose to ship out of these four, if you want to go down that road. But, we'll see if the show decides to give me any shipping fuel in particular. I'm just saying, Saya and Hiro came across as, you know, that way to me, almost. They show that level of closeness, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. But, 
yeah, I quite enjoyed the first episode, and I look forward to watching more. Hopefully, you enjoyed my reaction to him. So, thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Like I say, if you want to see early access to future episodes, just check out my Patreon. I would really appreciate that. So, bye-bye.